Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Main Core. For today's video, we are going to shift gears a little bit and talk about our physical and our emotional health. How to optimize each and become the best version of a man that you can. So if you are new here, the Main Core is a community for men that are digging to the core of who they are to find out what it is that they really want and who it is that they really want to become. Please join our community by subscribing and click the bell to be notified for future videos. We cover three topics here, masculinity, health, and relationships. So again, today's video is about our physical and our emotional health as men. You know, we talk a lot about how to take really good care of your body, how to make sure that we are getting in the gym, that we are getting proper cardio exercises, that we are lifting enough weights, doing full body exercises, and doing that on a very regular basis. Um, it doesn't only exist there, it's, it's about what we do at the dinner table. Um, I'm 35 now and the older that I'm getting, the more that I realize the importance of, uh, you know, what I'm putting in my body and how what I put in my body is a direct reflection of the results that I get uh, when I'm not at the gym and when I'm not training. Training is a big part of my life and the older that I'm getting, the, uh, the odd thing is, is that it's becoming more about, uh, you know, the things that I'm doing away from the physical activity in the gym. Uh, one, at the dinner table, and two, the emotional side of the equation, which we'll, uh, which we'll cover. But, <clears throat> you know, physically, I, I think, you know, most guys, we all, we all know this, and, um, you know, some of us struggle with it, but, you know, optimizing our health is, is so important, and making sure that, you know, we are taking really good care of our bodies. We're doing what we can to stay in good shape. It's important that we not forget that, you know, we are providers, we are protectors, and we only have one body, the one that we're given. So, you know, paying attention to the things that we're doing to, you know, keep up our nutrition levels and keep up our strength levels, keep up our, you know, endurance and our conditioning. These, these are all things that, you know, I think most guys know, um, you know, getting into the gym each or every other day is so crucial. Uh, for me personally, it's something that I do the first thing in the morning and, you know, it's kind of an, it is a non-negotiable for me. I won't, I won't do or respond to any emails. I won't do anything for work. I really won't do anything else until I have uh, made sure that, you know, my workout is behind me. Sometimes they're long, sometimes they're short, but, uh, you know, the, at the very least, I've done that before I've done anything else. And it's really about, you know, getting myself right physically. And I'm probably a pain in the ass to deal with if I haven't uh, gotten some energy out or if I have not worked out yet. It's just, it's just part of who I am. But, you know, if it's, if it's something that you've always struggled with, um, I, I guess, you know, the, the tip or, or recommendation that I would have is, is around getting you accountable. And if that's um, joining some some classes, if that is getting a trainer, if that is you know buying some DVDs and, and doing it at your own home, if you're not comfortable with doing it uh, at the gym, you know we're all at different levels. It doesn't mean that you know we're trying to be um, you know all star athletes here. It's just about you know taking ownership of your own physical health to do the things that you need to do to you know make sure that your body can function and operate at a level that, you know, we as men need to be, at whether we're providing or protecting, uh, working, earning, um, serving, whatever the case may be, you know, it's hard enough just to, uh, to, just to get by uh, as it is, but, um, you know, we, if we're not taking care of ourselves, uh, we're really of help to nobody else. It, it's really that old adage of, you know, make sure that you're giving yourself oxygen first before you can help another. Uh, if you're not taking care of yourself physically, you're going to be of no service to anybody else. So, um, you know, if you need help with what to eat, things to train on, things to do at the gym, cardio, weights, um, please do reach out to me. I, you know, I'm happy to do a video on, on whatever topic that you'd like to see. But physical health is so important. It's so key. And I, I think we all know that there's tons of uh, research in other uh, areas of, of the internet that you can find other good tips. So try to make it a priority. Try to, you know, prioritize it above things. It doesn't mean that you have to go to the gym two hours every day. Just build it a little bit. Think of it like investing. 
you know, a little bit stacks uh, in your favor in the long term. So if you can, you know, get by with 15 minutes a day to start, 20 minutes, half hour, you know, pretty soon you're going to start gradually increasing strength and uh, endurance. And uh, you're really going to notice it permeate into other areas of your life, your energy, um, your communication, your relationships. It just, it just, it's a natural evolution of, um, you know, how taking really good care of, of your body uh, affects other areas of your life, not the least of which would be, you know, your attractiveness. Um, certainly for, for members of the opposite sex, you know, women do like a guy that takes really good care of himself, takes pride in the way that he looks and uh, the way that he presents himself. But obviously that's something that, you know, you carry in your body language too. So, uh, it's, it shows up at, you know, in your work relationships and, um, how other people view and see you, whether you're out in public or, uh, some of your other colleagues. So <clears throat> try to make it a priority. And I know it's tough, but you know, it's not going to happen for you. There's no one pill. There's no quick fix. There's not a bite on the shelf. This is just good old fashioned, uh, elbow grease. And, um, you know, it's just finding the motivation to, to do it. So, um, that's the physical side of things. And again, you know, as, as I've gotten older, like I mentioned before, you know, I've really noticed that it's, it's really become about a comprehensive and about being a more balanced man. So, you know, I can go to the gym and, and work my ass off, but if I'm not eating the things that I need to be and, and training at home, uh, you know, I'm not going to see the results and the order that you get, you just can't get away with this much anymore. So, you know, eating a, a, a well-balanced diet, I've covered videos about the alkaline diet and, you know, green leafy vegetables, whole grains, uh, you know, plenty of fruits and vegetables, you know, it's not anything new. We all know that eating a good, healthy, balanced diet and, you know, reducing things like pop and fast food and sugar and, and excess salts, um, those are all things that are, that are fairly common knowledge. But um, if you need some help or if you need some tips about, you know, the good things to eat and to, you know, help out the, the things that you're doing in the gym, you know, definitely reach out or refer back to some of the videos that I've done in the uh, in the playlist for for health on the channel. But where uh, where I think a lot of guys and particularly the age demographic that that is watching this is probably newer to or maybe a little apprehensive or hesitant to explore is really the really the emotional side. And I've done a couple of videos about our emotional health, but. You know, I thought I would I thought I would bring this side of the the video to you with uh, a couple of different recommendations, some things that I've tried, and uh, some things that uh, you know could help could help with, uh, out with uh, some of your overall health. This is this is really about getting better and um, you know becoming the best version of ourselves as we can. So, you know, I'm anxious to hear what your thoughts are. So uh, please do share your feedback uh, in the comments below. But Emotional health, uh, it, it takes a couple of different forms. So, you know, if we're training our ass off and we're eating really well, but we're, we're not really balanced in our brain or balanced in our mind, um, if, our, if our spirit, so to speak, is not uh, something that we look after, then we can expect that things can uh, go, off the, go off the rails and that can happen at work, that can happen in your relationships, that can happen in other areas of your life. So, you know, the, a couple of the things that, that I've really looked at and I've really come to appreciate and value and, and incorporate more into my life on the, uh, on the emotional side of the equation is, you know, reading, of course. You know, the, the brain is a, is a fascinating uh, piece of uh, is a fascinating organ. Um, you know, it's, it's really, you know, pretty cool to, to find out what it's capable of at the things that it, uh, the things that it does, how, how it shapes who we, who we are and the things that we know and really our model of the world. So, um, you know, I would just read about just some cognitive therapy stuff. Emotional intelligence by Daniel Coleman is a, is a great book. Um, just to get to understand just, you know, yourself at, at a layer a little bit deeper than, than what you are on the surface. I think knowing what's going on internally helps a lot of people to understand, okay, that's why I'm feeling this. That's why I see it this way. That's why I'm feeling this. Um, it, it's just something that, you know, is, uh, is a wise thing to do. So, you know, read up on, on things about emotional intelligence or cognitive behavior and, um, you know, 
that might help give you some clarity about uh, you know what what things are driving you and motivating you and um, are going on internally. Because again, we can do all the all the work physically that uh, you know we can we're capable of, but until you really get a, a good grasp um, and and a litmus test about what's going on internally, you're gonna have some struggles. And you know, even at 35 that I've built this in over the last five years, I still struggle. You know, I still have things that I get worked up about. Um, you know, we we all know that you know becoming the best version of ourselves is an evolution. It's something that happens over the long period of time. So I'll never, I'll, I'll never achieve my, uh, the, fi the finish line for my physical health um, and certainly not my emotional health. This is an ongoing process, but um, you know, to, to act like it's gonna go away and that I don't need to pay attention to it is really just negligent. So it is a very important piece, especially as you get older and you know, a balanced, emotional, centered and um, Calm man is uh, is really is really important when you're dealing with uh, you know either communications or people at work or people who you have to deal with who are very different than you are uh, personality type. Uh, with women, you know they are emotional creatures. So if you have two emotional people going back and forth, that um, are kind of you know I think women get women definitely get a pass on this, but. If you're a man in your emotional basket case, and it doesn't take much but you know, a slight comment to throw you off, you're gonna run into some problems. And there's a way to really work through that. And if there are things that you know, trigger that, so again, you know, I mentioned before about understanding what's going on internally, it's very possible that a lot of guys watching this have some things that they've struggled with. Maybe it's their childhood, maybe it's you know, that they got picked on in school. You know, these are all things that, are, that affect us. And no matter how long ago they happen, they're things that we carry with us. And, you know, a lot of times they're buried really deep and we don't really understand how they shape us, but they do. Um, you know, how, uh, how those things come to, you know, how they come to, how they come in and out of our lives and how they shape our interactions with people, our relationships uh, with, uh, with different people peers and, and um, with, with women. You know, these are all things that, that happen to every one of us and each one of us has our own story. But, you know, like I've said in previous videos, you do have to feel it to heal it. So if you have some trauma or if you have some things that have happened to you in the past, um, you know, it's important that, you know, you have a, a place to go where you can, can openly share and work through that stuff because uh, it will, those dogs got to get out. And again, if, if it doesn't take so much as a, a slight comment uh, from a coworker or, you know, your, your girlfriend or your wife uh, or somebody cuts you off in traffic or, you know, somebody is trying to give you some candid feedback and you just fly off the handle, uh, you have to be able to understand really where those emotions and really where that stuff is coming from because if you haven't done that, you're gonna fly off the handle. And again, I've said it a couple times already, you're gonna have some issues. But uh, if, you ha if you can find a way to really understand what's going on internally and be able to kind of dial back or trace back you know, the things that you've learned about what uh, is causing that reaction in, in, inside of you, then it's going to be much easier for you to be able to stay in the present moment when you're dealing with uh, either your kids that are having an, uh, like a, an emotional outbreak or uh, if your girl's had a bad day and she is just all over the place and you know uh, she just kind of needs you to be the rock, the mountain. You know, uh, she's gonna haul off and, and sometimes throw a barb at you or a couple of them. And you know, it doesn't mean you have to sit there and, and take it. Uh, like a like a pussy, uh, if it goes against your core values and you, and you feel like it's something that you know needs to be addressed, then you know you certainly want to stand up for yourself. You have to do that as a man, um, have a backbone and uh, make sure that it's not just a free for all. But it's going to happen, and you know without getting yourself right, balanced emotionally, uh, you're you're gonna you're gonna run into some struggles. So you know. I would be remiss if I didn't bring in the spirituality side too. So, you know, I've, I've always been an anxious guy 
and you know I do really uh, get fascinated and, and I do like the idea and the concept of of like attracts like and the universal principle that you know water seeks its own level and I really think that you know once you begin to invest in yourself as a man you really start to see that you know the things that um, the results that that have uh, has on the people and the circumstances around you when you are when you are taking the time to really invest in yourself, to really understand yourself, to really understand what your core values are, what it is that you really want, and you're getting really clean with your conscience and you're really dealing with a lot of stuff, you're investing in you, this is what self-love is, uh, what tends to, what always happens, and this has always been the case for me, and you can ask anybody who's uh, made this shift on their own, is that the world will conspire to help you. And I understand that's kind of a, you know, that's kind of a, like an, otherworldly, uh, you know, comment to say, but what I mean by that is, you know, when you're really taking care of yourself and you're really valuing yourself, those people that you kind of tended to hang around with before that were, you know, negative or had a negative worldview or, you know, just kind of brought you down, you'll, you'll notice that they kind of fall away and that, you know, you're kind of gravitating to a higher, um, a higher source or a higher vibration in people people that have a better positive outlook that that value and appreciate and love themselves. Uh, you'll also notice that, you know, more opportunities, whether it be for work or relationships or partnerships or business, uh, tend to show up too. So, you know, when you're really investing yourself, it's almost like the world kind of, you know, in a way it unfolds for you. Now, it doesn't mean it's white fucking picket fences. You know, you're still going to get hit on the chin. You're still going to fall down. Um, you're still going to have struggles. But you know, just, just understanding that, you know, if you're, if you're coming from a place of like me, 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 I, 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 and you're not really doing anything to like better yourself or move yourself forward as a man, um, be it, uh, you know, physically or emotionally, if you're not doing those things to invest in, in who you are as, as a man and as a person, as a contributor, as a provider, as a protector, you know, you have to really understand that, that, you know, when you're asking for things or when you expect things, without that investment, those are very selfish and very entitled places to be coming from. You know, um, if you are not doing the work to, you know, uh, move into a, a manager position, or if you are expecting that you should just get a job because of uh, some sort of entitlement or because of a friendship, uh, but you haven't really taken the time to understand the job or learn the skills or the traits or the characteristics of the person who's already doing that job or what's required to do that, you know, nothing is given, everything is earned. And, you know, it's about placing yourself in the, uh, in the best position. And the only person that's in charge of, of doing that is you. So, you know, you're not always going to get what you go after. That's part of life. But, you know, positioning yourself, investing in yourself, taking really good care of yourself um, is, is really the, the only opportunity, the only, um, the only option that we have to best position uh, ourselves for, uh, for success and for the future. Uh, you know, on the spiritual side, if you appreciate music, if you appreciate art, if you appreciate uh, drawing, if you appreciate uh, coloring, if you appreciate you know any of the arts. For me, it's music. I you know I've I've, I've always loved music. Um, that's kind of an area that that. I'm able to, to go and escape from and, and kind of drift and, and dream and let my uh, emotions run wild in a good way. Uh, I, I've always really deeply appreciated music and that's kind of my art form that uh, I deeply, deeply appreciate. You know, the, the waters run deep in terms of the artists that I really appreciate. But um, I've also done some meditating. So as an anxious guy, you know, my mind is always wandering a, a, a mile a minute. Sometimes it can probably, you know, seem like I'm talking a mile a minute, but it comes from a real genuine place. And the only thing that, that I can do, the only thing I know how to do and have uh, incorporated is meditating. So, you know, getting, getting really still for a few minutes each day and tuning out all my distractions to really know that, um, you know, the brain is something that can be trained and it is pliable. It is something that, you know, when we uh, incorporate new, uh, you know, new things or new skills, when we learn new skill sets, when we, um, you know, acquire new knowledge, when we want to, uh, you know, build in a new habit, you know, our brain is, is really cool because 
it can actually be shaped and um, and reprogrammed so uh, rewired to uh, to incorporate those things those new skills those new things that we're learning and um, through my practice of meditation you know in times when I would have normally gotten worked up or uh, you know gotten stressed out um, or you know maybe flew off the handle kind of lost my shit a little bit now I'm, I'm rewiring my brain to uh, to take a step back and to really you know stop and uh, understand that you know this is what's happening now but it's it's not gonna hurt me it's just being able to stay calm in that present moment and when you're when you're doing those things from a spiritual side or certainly from a med uh, meditation standpoint it will just train your 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 bot your body and your mind to uh, to kind of understand that what's going on around you and and to just kind of stop and you know check inside to to check what's going on internally that's why it's so important to, to understand what's going on inside so um, you know, it would just help out with a lot of those things when normally you would have gotten worked up or uh, flew off the handle. You know, meditation certainly for me has uh, has really helped me kind of guide uh, through some uh, treacherous waters when um, things have gotten stressful or uh, somebody, you know, hauled off and made a shitty comment or, you know, lost their temper or whatever. Uh, a lot of times it had nothing to do with me, it had everything to do with the other person. So. I never have control over the things that other people do and say, but I do have full control over uh, how I react and um, the the meanings that I give uh, those comments or, or uh, those reactions from other people. And um, you know, by investing in myself, I understand myself more deeply, and I understand that you know those comments and those reactions have little to do with me and more to do with that other person. The only reason I know that is because I, I better understand myself because I've taken the time to take care of myself physically and, and emotionally. And um, I'm always going to be working towards being a balanced man. Um, that, uh, that's a process that is ongoing that will, that will never end. Um, it has highs and lows. It's not perfect. There's no perfect recipe. It's different for everybody. But it is the, uh, it is the only recipe that, that we have and the only thing that we do have full control over. So... I hope that has helped you today. Uh, I have so enjoyed bringing uh, some content to you guys in the last few weeks. The comments that are coming in have been amazing. So thank you so very much for uh, continuing to engage with the video and share your journey. I, it deeply means a lot to me that you guys are benefiting from the channel and uh, are, are finding a way to circle back to the community to find help, find support, find tips and uh, ways to become a better man. Uh, please do like the video, share the video, and um, invite anybody that you think would be a good contributor here at the Main Core. We are building community for better men, but um, again, I really appreciate all the all the time and uh, all the engagement on the video, fellas. Thank you so much. I will catch you soon on the next video. Until then, cheers.